An investigation has been launched into the beating of a 14-year-old new Campbellville Secondary School student by a child of the same school. The assault was recorded and is now viral on social media. The situation has left the child with a concussion and his mother Nakiva Kulin told reporters that since the incident her son, who will turn 15 in a few days, has been crying out for headaches which usually led to him blacking out for as long as 20 minutes. The um, doctor was saying that he don't have a fractured skull or anything but a concussion that whereby we see in it that he's yet in his blackout, he's blacking out, fainting away. Sometimes he's still on watching like if he you know, like he on another, he on another level from we, and that's, that, there's nothing. When you ask him something, you tell him something, and the next minute you ask him or you call him, and you tell him something, he don't forget already what you tell him. So I need, I need to do something else, because in later down, I got things, stories whereby children, things like this happen to children already. And when you next you know, you won't, you won't looking into it, the child end up dying. That's so far, like, I can't even catch myself for going to do my business. Since this happened, like, I don't know what to do, what way for go, way for come, how for go. Because you got to looking at this child all the time. All the time you got to looking at this child. I seen your missy sit down. Sometimes he crying out for the headache. When he cried for the headache, he fell down. Faint away like for good 15 minutes. He had everybody shaking him for reviving. No, before this, he never had no medical issue. He's 14, gonna be 15 Wednesday, and I never had no problem for running the hospital with him. Today, when we visited the family at their Sophia home, his mother said she's disappointed in the way the matter is being handled. No. I'm not satisfied with them because they they just keep telling me oh they're gonna deal with this matter they're gonna deal with this matter and the only person has been so um, what am I say so interested finding out and doing it is Miss King she's the only body that since this problem happened from the ministry she's the only body that really acts in what happened, what's going on, what is the information of certain things. She asks if we have the, pool, the medical for, from the police, whereby we do have a medical, but the doctor saying that we can't uplift the medical, a police have to go uplift the medical. We went to the station, the station said they can't, they can't take a um, report from us, nor they can't go for the child because he's a juvenile. So I don't know. We're not looking into serious matters. Serious matters, they got to look in. Not for my child alone, but for all the children that it's happening to in school, whereby they just go into the ministry and just get sorry about it. It's not just sorry, because your child dead. Number one, the ministry asking you, I was at my child at, on Monday, and they told me, sit down and wait. They're getting a meeting with me and this child parent and so. The ministry of the school? The ministry, um... The school I went to, but the ministry of a um, ministry representative was there at the school, and all he told me was wait. When I do get down to it now, that when I get up now, they're telling me that um oh we're gonna look into the matter. It's a serious matter, mom. We're gonna call you and whatever. When they call me and I ask them, I said how would y'all deal with this matter? The guy that talked to me, I didn't get his name. He just told me that um. We're going to expel this child from all the schools in Guyana. Whereby this child fight. There's a second, the second week the child I kicked my son, there's a second week he in this school. The second week he in this school because I already was expelled. Whereby the headmistress I heard it from her mouth saying that this child was expelled from a school and you collect him into this school. What do you expect he going to do? He's supposed to done expel from since the first time you do it in the other school. You don't, you don't, you got, y'all need to deal with these children accordingly because it seems like it's not children going to school, it's bare big people. Bare big people going to school. It's not children. These children, is, these children performing some performance and a half, it's not easy. Send somebody talk to them. If them are choking you, if them are kicking you up, they're stamping up, all them kind of thing is happening. And I'm saying this now, that if I was the child mother, 
and it was that child that it my child it did it to that child I would have been there I would have been looking forward to know what's up because I trained my chair in them that if you go to school you must not go to school for fight because school and make for fight school school make for you go and learn and get an education but they are not saying anything not they're saying nothing nothing they're saying they're never showing up their face nothing the mother of eight told us, being the only constant parent in our children's lives, she over the years has instilled in them good values and the need to have an education. Out of eight kids, my son is the fourth. I have eight children and my son is the fourth, the fourth in between the eight. And they, I have three children that done right CXC already. And they know that if anything concerning school, when they come home, they could never come home and say, Mommy, I went in a fight. Because I tell them, I said, Boss, y'all ask, even say if you're right or you're wrong. Come in saying you're at school for fight. I say you're to school for learn. Right or wrong, I be them. So they won't come and tell me if they fight or not. I know they won't come and tell me if they fight or not. But I ask. And I go into the school and find out what the go, what going on without them even knowing. I turn up in the school for them. I sure if my child if, if if it was my child he did that to some did that to that child. I sure the parents the, the parents were there up and running. Coolin said she would be taking her son for a second CT scan later this week. She said her focus now is to monitor her son's condition as she recalled that his latest blackout was one today. She said she was up with him almost the entire night. 